Number three in the ongoing series of AccuPlacer test review. Uh, without regard to where you're going to college next year, when you show up for orient orientation or maybe on your first day, whenever they do it, before you, before you schedule your classes, they're going to force you to take an English placement and a math placement test. Uh, Billy, you know I don't care about the English placement at all. I can barely speak that language, but the math part is important to me, and we have to make sure that we've reviewed, because even if your calculus skills are great, this is important. So it says the average of seven numbers is 12. What is their sum? Well, say that again? Seven times 12, 84, right? Because remember, no matter what, let these, let these be the numbers that you're adding together. We know that when we're done adding them, right, we add all the numbers together, and then we divide, and what it does, it's a redistribution, isn't it? So the, the taller, the bigger numbers get smaller, the smaller numbers get bigger, assuming that they're not the same numbers, isn't that right? And we end up with all the same numbers. So really what we're saying is, after we've averaged, all seven of our numbers will be 12, won't they? So this will be 12, this will be 12, this will be 12, 12, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 12, isn't that right? Yes? So, so... 7 times 12, right? Repetitive uh, addition is multiplication, is 84. So the sum will be, is the sum. Okay? While we're here, let's do this problem. It's really easy. I get that. What I'm concerned about is that, one, that somebody might actually try to solve this problem. They're asking us what whole number, right? Whole numbers are integers, 0 or greater, right? Yep. So whole numbers. So the way I always do this, Billy, is I just set it up like this. I take, let's start off with the number that we have. We have 27.9. And I just ask myself, what number that's bigger than 27.9 do I know the perfect square root of? And that number is, is 36. And what number is as near to 27.9 but smaller do I know? Yeah, 25. Square root 25. So here we have these, and the value of this is 5, isn't it? The value of this is 6. So I think that this is close to 27.9 is closer to 5 than 6, don't you? Right, it's 2.9 away from that, and it's 6.1 away from 36. So, it's, so I would go with this, wouldn't you? Okay. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you prepare for that exam. Now, there's not will be nothing more embarrassing than doing really, really well on college courses in high school and forgetting all the important math you already know.